Pineapple belongs on pizza. All right, I haven't done it in a while, so channel introductions. Who am I? What's the purpose of my content? Why did I choose the username that I did? Well, my name is Devin J. Parker. I'm an author. And originally, when the pandemic first hit, I sought to teach myself a layoff-proof skill, so I got into programming, wanted to get into game development. Something I've wanted to do since I was a little kid. Ended up getting into web development. Then, I wrote books on how to program in my own words so that I would have cliff notes to refer back to. You know, in HTML and CSS, the most important things, elements, tags. Then JavaScript loops, variables, blah, 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 blah. Well, those books did exceptionally well with little to no effort because right in the beginning of the pandemic, a lot of people were looking to code. So I thought, why not take a crack at fiction? So I did, and I wrote a book. Then I wrote three more, and they did okay. Maybe 20 to 30 books a month for the first bit, but most of my money came from the previously mentioned programming books. But I was doing well. I built up Tumblr and Twitter and my Instagram account. I was making decent money. Then, because I'm a total dummy, one day I deleted my email account attached to all that stuff by accident. How do you do it by accident? Well, you just get really stoned one night and forget that you have two cell phones and you were logged into the correct email to delete on one phone, step away from it for a while, and then pick up your old phone and proceed to delete. So that began, you know, a big old panic. I had lost my source of income. So I started making videos and I came onto TikTok and YouTube. And primarily, I did well, or best at, bad jokes and politics. You guys seem to like Angry Devin, I don't... Anywho, when all this happened, my seven books were unpublished, and my KDP platform went down as well. Took me about seven, eight months for me to be able to access my Author Central account and rewrite and republish some of my books. So I started focusing really heavy on my growth on social media in an effort to diversify my income. And within a few short months, I was able to grow my YouTube channel to pretty respectable numbers. But now that I've restarted all my socials, got my platform back up, and have grown on social media across my five different TikTok accounts, my two different YouTubes, I've gotten quite comfortable on being on camera. So, you know, why game rights? What's the point of that? Well, video games and writing. Going forward, my channel will focus a lot on writing and video games, but it'll mostly remain a vlog too, just whatever I want to talk about. Anywho, what's my goal? Why do I sort of do what I do and go so full throttle as I do? Well, my goal, obviously, become a best-selling author, YouTuber, and use those to finance my goal of one day opening an animation studio and creating a three-season, seven-episode-per-season show. And then, after that, get into game development and open my own indie game development studio, where I will design a simple, cartoonish graphics, 3D, story-driven game that doesn't connect to the internet in any way whatsoever. You just pop the disc in and play. Something simple, around 20 to 30 hours in length with the aesthetic somewhat of Wind Waker. But, again, as I've said, I've got five different TikToks and two different YouTube channels. Because only one of my ideas needs to take off. The way I look at it is, I don't care if it's my books, my politics, my writing, my video game stuff, or my top five lists. Say what you want about me, but one thing we can all admit is that I'm nothing, if not tenacious. I will achieve my goals. It's a matter of when, not if. For the very simple reason that the biggest key to success that I've learned is showing up consistently. And show up I shall. So, now that I'm done rewriting this book, I'm going to start focusing more heavily on my certain channels, game rights stuff. You know, game rights will probably end up being my personal vlog of my journey. And then I'll have separate channels for my writing and a separate channel for my gaming stuff. I'm not going to shy away from the politics because, well, it works.
That being said, I want to produce high quality videos, so the rapid fire of what I've been doing is probably not going to happen as much. Plus, I'm, in, I'm spending entirely too much time on TikTok. I'm going to do one last round of free book downloads, so if you want to be notified when there is one, leave a comment on TikTok, on YouTube. I'll make a post. Then I'm pulling my books out of Kindle Unlimited, and I'm going to go wide. I've got three more books to publish in the next month-ish, and a lot of promotions to do. But now, one year later, after building out my platforms, I know what I'm doing. So you either watch me or you don't. And yes, I'm very outspoken on my political opinions, but if you discriminate against women, marginalized groups, I don't want your support.